Hi everybody, it's Dr. Jenny here at the Bloomsburg Children's Museum and today we are going to be walking through ancient Egypt. The very rich, called pharaohs or kings, would be buried in huge structures called pyramids. The pyramids were ingeniously designed to have air shafts and secret passages that would all lead to a grand chamber where the tomb of the pharaoh was. The walls of the chambers were decorated showing scenes of everyday Egyptian life. This painting is comprised of three separate scenes that is read from the bottom up. It shows life in ancient Egypt and the Egyptian concept of an afterlife. It also depicts the country's three seasons. The pharaohs were buried with all of their possessions and anything that they could use in the afterlife. This is partly why the pyramids were so huge. They had to have everything they would need for their entire afterlife. Pets were often buried with their owners. Mummified cats were the most popular along with dogs and even monkeys. At that point it's time for the funeral. The mummy was placed in a coffin which was then put into larger, heavier cases. The coffins, or sarcophagi, were often designed in the image of the deceased pharaoh. The headdress, called nemes, was striped and pulled away from the forehead and tied with two flaps hanging down. In the center of the nemes, over the forehead, were a vulture and a cobra which were symbols of Upper and Lower Egypt. The false beard was considered to be very kingly. Scientists can study mummies without taking them apart. They can use x-ray machines or CAT scan machines in order to get a clear view of what the mummy actually looks like. In fact, there were researchers in England who recently created a 3D image of a mummy's voice box. Then they were able to make the voice box actually speak. Here's a little video about that. Did you know you can hear a 3,000 year old mummy speak? In January of 2020, researchers in England published a paper showing the results of a process they invented. It involved a mummy named Nesiamun. Nesi Amun was an Egyptian priest who sang and chanted at the Karnak Temple in Thebes. When he died, he was mummified. Nesi Amun, true of voice, is the inscription on his coffin. The scientist used a CAT scan of the mummy to create a 3D image of Nesi Amun's voice box. The scientist then used 3D printing technology to create a replica of Nessie Amon's voice box. The results were amazing. The scientists were able to make the 3D printed voice box speak. Uh, uh, uh. The last scene of that video was Nessie Amun's name written in hieroglyphics. You can see here on the wall behind me the hieroglyphic alphabet. Your challenge for today is to create your name in a cartouche using the hieroglyphic alphabet. We will provide a link where you can download materials to make your very own cartouche necklace and write your name in hieroglyphics. After you do this, take a snapshot of it and send it to boxoflight at me.com and we'll post it in order for everybody to see your name in hieroglyphics. This is Dr. Ginny at the Bloomsburg Children's Museum. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.